Certain events require you to update your contacts after you've initially sent a message. For example, a wildfire could change direction with strong winds, completely changing your emergency response. Your contacts will need to be notified. You can send additional messages for any open incident by sending an update notification. An update notification sends another incident notification to your contacts to keep them safe and informed. To send an update to your incident, start on the Manager Portal dashboard. Hover over the Incidents tab and then click Open History. The incident you most recently launched is located at the top of the All Incidents table. While an incident is open, you can send update messages. Next to your incident, click the Actions drop-down menu, then click Send Update. This opens the Update Incident page, where you can see your previously entered message and information. Select either Template Setup or Previous Notification on the Operator form. The Template Setup option uses the values from the original incident template. The selection overrides any changes you have made on your form and starts you from scratch. Previous Notification uses the information and variables selected and written in the previous notification of the incident. If you need to use another template, click the desired template from the Individual Incidents column. Enter in your new or updated information and fill out the incident just as you would if it were new. Click Next. If you have not made any changes to any values in the form, you are prompted to confirm that you want to proceed to the next page. Add or edit the message on the Notification Details page and make any adjustments necessary. Once ready, click Send. After you click Send, the Incident Details page appears. You can send as many updates as you need. It is also possible to stop an update to a notification. Keep in mind this does not retract messages that have been launched, but it does stop future messages from going out if you've made a mistake. The Stop Update option is useful if there are further changes, if the event has been resolved, or if you need to make a correction. From the Open History page, select the incident name with the notification you want to stop. The Incident Details page is displayed. Open the Actions drop-down menu, then click Stop. Click Yes to stop the notification. Stopping a notification does not affect messages that have already been sent but stops the system from sending more messages. The status changes from active to stopped. For more courses, training, and certifications, visit Everbridge University. For more specific courses on incident communications, check out the description below. Thanks for watching.